have a friend that works for the Department of Transportation that uh, uses a plow and he said on this road one of the people that was uh, plowing this road this is by uh, Hollow State Forest said that they he hit a Sasquatch that it, the, the guy that he knows hit a Sasquatch so I've been driving up and down trying to see if I see any blood or anything any Sasquatch off to the side of the road that's dead you know I said well are you sure it wasn't a you know is the guy sure it wasn't a bear or a deer and he said no he, he said it was as clear as you know he said it was a Sasquatch running across the road he looked you know it was he said it was very clear that it was a Sasquatch I don't see anything but I mean it snowed since he hit it he hit it supposedly last night at like three o'clock something like that th 3 a.m. so I mean it if there was blood or footprints it would be all covered up at this point I'm just like digging at straws trying to you know trying to locate one of them in this neighborhood they're all they're all over they're all over this isn't really a neighborhood it's a uh, you know it's an area of the Finger Lakes Lake Seneca Sasquatch it's been talked about for years there's always been Sasquatch in this area there's there's a huge tribe of them that live up there hey if I do, if I do find a Sasquatch on the side of the road I'm gonna drag it back to my house somewhere that's for sure there's got to be one around here that's what he said he said he was a hundred percent sure that that's what he hit with the plow was a, a, a Bigfoot he said it was a big one too so I'd love to find a Sasquatch skin the thing you know make a have a coat made out of it maybe a hat some boots some pants you know like a whole Sasquatch fur outfit be awesome right Remy Remy knows